Hey, Miles Beckler here, milesbeckler.com. And in this video, we are going to cover the idea of throwing your hat over the fence. We're gonna look at why it's so important, what it is, and how you can execute it. And we'll kind of look at this through a couple of real world examples. So this is an idea that I first learned from Eben Pagan. And the concept is that once you throw your hat over the fence, you now have to go climb over that fence and get your hat back. Right, so that's the philosophy here. And I've mentioned this idea in a number of my videos before, uh, specifically even in yesterday's video when I was talking about the membership program that we wrote the sales letter on, we sold the program, but we didn't actually have any deliverables in there. That was us throwing our hat over the fence, right? We had committed to our audience, hey, we're willing to do this if you guys are willing to buy, people purchased, boom. Now we had to climb over the fence and get our hat back. It's a really great concept and what it does is it's kind of like, it forces you to think about what is it that you can do right now from where you're at to put that level of commitment out there at a level that's like, I'm gonna go do that no matter what at this point. Another way I've used this was when I started this channel, right? So I started this channel based on a 90 day challenge. Uh, Kyle Cease gave me a challenge and he challenged me to push myself do something I've felt like I needed to do for 90 days straight um, and just commit to it. And I've wanted to produce content and create content and come out from behind the scenes in the internet marketing world for a while now, but I've had myself kind of, you know, mentally thinking that I'm not a content creator and I've just stayed really busy. I mean, my wife and I are extremely busy with our kind of business. So he presents this challenge to me. It's a 90 day challenge, go do it. And I'm like, man, this is my chance. I'm going to do it. So what was the hat over the fence moment there? Well, I pledged to him that I was going to donate a thousand dollars if I didn't do this 90 day challenge and a thousand dollars. I don't know where you are at in your life, but a thousand bucks, that's a lot of dollar bills right there. A thousand bucks can, can get you a uh, airfare to a lot of corners of the globe. And it's not something I take lightly. And once I had committed to this and kind of the, the funny part was it was to the uh, charity of his choice if I did not follow through on this. So he would get to choose the charity and I know he would choose probably a political opponent that I don't agree with or some foundation or fund that I'm totally like against as his way of really kind of like making sure I follow through. So it was an idea. It's something I'd wanted to do for a long time. But when I hung my, when I threw my hat over that fence and when I, told him, hey man, like I'll donate a thousand bucks to the cause of your choice if I get this wrong. That was the moment my hat was over the fence and that was the moment that my commitment went to the next level and I started creating all of the videos. Final example here, this morning I woke up and I had a comment on YouTube from a lovely lady and it inspired me to really kind of put out this new idea and I've been working on a meditation for you. Um, I've been creating this, it's taken, three, four days now to get this thing dialed right. And it's a really cool kind of a abundance and, and a success meditation, right? I'm in the meditation niche. I've been working on this for a while for you and I haven't actually got it out yet. So I'm doing this video this morning and in it, I just kind of am inspired. I'm just going with the flow of the video and I'm just talking and I'm kind of going with it. And all of a sudden I'm promising to deliver this to you. And here it is in the evening at this point and I've been working all day. I mean, literally that was with my cup of coffee. I went outside on the beach and recorded the video. It'll be live tomorrow at this point. And then I came back after throwing that commitment out there and I've been working my ass off all day on putting together this and finishing up the system and this meditation for you. And my goal was to launch it tonight and it's not 100% done tonight and I'm waiting to get a little a graphic back from my graphics guy and he's not online right now so I'm cutting this video for you instead. But here's what it did, right? I recorded that video, I put it out and I was like, this is gonna happen, I'm gonna give this to you awesome and then that was like that first domino in the series of dominoes right that was the hat over the fence moment that got me to come back and do all of these little things that i've needed to do to get this item out to you that, that i've wanted to get out to you for a while now and it was something about declaring it recording it and throwing it out there that was that little push that little over the top that i needed to go tie up all of these loose ends and get this all done. So here I am in the evening and I wanted to get a video out today. So I realized the hat over the fence idea was the video for today. Tomorrow, fingers crossed, everything's going the way it should be. Um, I'm rendering the last final version of this, doing my last final test, 
really dialing in this audio meditation for you and that should be out for you tomorrow. And it's just fun to play with this concept. So why do you wanna look for these opportunities to throw your hat over the fence? It's because it's like that level of motivation that forces you to do something. We all need to apply leverage to ourselves to get ourselves to stretch ourselves, to get ourselves to do things we didn't necessarily believe we could do, right? Like I talk a lot, I'm a natural speaker, this is kind of like speaking things my gig, but I didn't think I could do YouTube videos. I didn't think I could share what I know in a way that was eloquent and that would actually help people. I doubted that for literally years until I threw my hat over the fence, committed, made the commitment, made the pain of not getting it done big enough to where boom, everything's lined up and I've now done 130 videos or something like that in the last four or five months. It's crazy what I've been able, what, what's happened, what's come through from that. My wife and my business, we've been running that membership program for years now, literally for like four years we've been running that membership program. We've got nearly a thousand members at this point and we love it. it. We love the members, the members love what we're putting out and all of that happened because we were willing just to kind of like throw our hat over the fence and be like, well, what happens if we put this out there? I don't know. Let's try and see if people respond. Let's see how people respond. Wow, they all responded. Wow, they want it. They bought it. Okay, boom. Time to get to work and go deliver. Time to climb that fence and go get the hat back. So that's the hat over the fence concept. Use it as best you can because it is a great way to get some leverage on yourself, to help push yourself because you do need to push yourself. I'm here to try to help push you, but ultimately it's up to you to take the action. So what are the ways that you can throw your hat over the fence in your business or in your just daily life to get you to kind of take that next level of action, to, to be more accountable to yourself and to take action and take steps towards achieving your goals. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, give me a thumbs up here if you like the video. It helps the reach in the videos get out and I do appreciate your help getting the reach out. If you have not subscribed, please do. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I have some really cool stuff uh, coming down the pipeline for you here. I'm so excited about it. I do value your time. I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.